corn planting depth. What's the right depth? A lot of people talk about all these variations and usually we talk about one depth regardless of your conditions. Well, we certainly like to see corn planted an inch and a half to two and a half inches deep and you can't go any more shallow than an inch and a half. Otherwise, what happens is you end up with nodal roots above the ground and the nodal root system is the main water and nutrient gathering system of your crop. So you wanna have that down in the soil a little bit so it can be effective. Also, you wanna protect it so it's not above ground where herbicides could be hitting it. And, and where I'd like to focus a little bit of energy today is just on the consistency of planting depth. This seems to be one of the biggest things that you hear from high yield producers around the country is, hey, we wanna see every seed in the field getting out of the ground on the same day and within a few hours, if possible, that way you have even competition. For example, on our farm this past year, we had very dry conditions where we had six months of no rain leading up to our corn planting. So we had some light and fluffy ground. What we saw many times as we went across the field is we would increase down pressure where we had a compacted area and then we'd get into some fluffy ground and we'd actually be lifting to try not to put the seed too deep. We were actually lifting more than we were pushing down extra. And what we saw this year on our farm was a picket fence stand. Now we've taken a big step forward. Now we can start addressing some of those issues that are causing variations in our planting depth. And what we expect to see is more consistent performance and more yield. So if you ask me what's the right planting depth for corn, I'm gonna tell you two inches. I'm gonna tell you two inches when it's dry, two inches when it's wet, two inches when it's cold, two inches when it's warm. But I realize that, hey, if I'm in a dry area, I want to hit moisture and I say, you know what, I'm in an area where it doesn't look like we're going to have rain for a month and I still want to plant corn, so I'm going to go to three inches to get down to moisture. That's your call. We're just trying to tell you that if you plant different than this ideal depth of an inch and a half to two and a half inches, you are giving up yield. Would you be giving up more if you don't get down to moisture? It's possible. So you've got to make that call yourself. We all farm in the real world, okay? Some days we don't make the right decisions either. You might do something where you say, oh boy, that sure didn't work for me. Well, you learn from your mistake, you move on. All I can tell you is this, if you've got a suboptimum planting depth, you chances are are not going to be able to maximize your yield. All right, so when we look at corn, that minimum depth is really critical. That for sure has to be right. an inch and no a half. No matter you, what. You can't end up more shallow than that. And we do see that as we go across fields sometimes where, hey, here's a few plants where the root system is above ground. Why does that happen? Well, that's the whole reason why the, the planting depth is too shallow. And we're not talking about the brace roots. Here's the way this plant works, okay? So you've got the corn seed. Right away, you're gonna have two little roots that come out. You're going to have the radical root, then you're gonna have some little seminal roots. But those are not the main root system of the corn plant. What happens is when that corn starts growing, it sends up this coleoptile sheath. Once it sees light, then it says, okay, plant, now it's time to grow. And then you're going to have nodal roots growing below ground. Your five rings of nodal roots, though, will be above the seed. They will all start above the level of the seed. So they start real shallow, then they go back down into the ground. So as this plant is growing and developing, it's important to understand that we want to have those nodal roots that are above the seed below the ground. And that will only happen if you have that planting depth at an inch and a half deep or deeper. If you have any of your rings of nodal roots above ground, you have worse standability, you have worse intake of water and nutrients, you overall will have worse yields, I will guarantee you. And you're more susceptible to injury from herbicides. And we need yep. all options on the table when we have weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up next.